America. Congratulations! Your future, your future is sold! Sold to the highest bidder, sold to the CEO who can screw you the most. I hope you like it. I hope you like it because you've sat sleeping and you sat watching stupid crap on TV that means nothing. And here we are, my family, the share of just my family's debt, not even my grandchildren, that one day if I'm blessed to have, we'll have, no, just me, my wife, and my two kids, here's my debt, $124,000. That's just the national debt. That's not even the $12,000 that is the bailout that they've given these jokers in the last six months because they were unwise with their decisions and their business practices, and, and unlike you and me, unlike citizens like you and me, they didn't go out of business. No, the government steps in because they're too big to fail. Well, how about me? How about my family? How about the house we lost because of the economy that took a crap because of these jokers making hundreds of millions of dollars in bonuses? because of the business practices that they weren't smart enough to figure out how to fix. Because they were giving loans to illegal aliens and to people with credit scores below 500 for $500,000 with no verification whatsoever. Knowing, knowing, knowing for 30 years that these people, the credit scores and the statistics that they have, knowing that these people will not pay back these loans. But hey, don't worry about it. We'll pawn it off on this person. We'll pawn it off on that person. You know what this is? Outright greed. And somebody ought to go to jail, but I'll guarantee you that nobody will. Oh, they'll find somebody. It'll be some old fart who's about to die anyway. Just like Enron. So, I guess here we are again, once again, uh, just bowing down to the people that don't take their oaths seriously. We vote for people and they stab us in the back. So you know what I think of that? Here's what I think, you in Washington, if you can read that, you're fired. You are fired. We don't want you anymore. You're worthless, you don't take your oath seriously, and you don't have the first clue about economics. So all of you, all of you in Washington, Barack, McCain, Every one of you senators, with the exception of Ron Paul, and maybe I'll find a few others that I might be able to say, okay, this guy's got his brain up somewhere other than up his butt. I'm sick and tired of this. I have a family that I care about, and you know what? I can make a whole lot more use of the $120,000 that is now stacked upon my shoulders and on the shoulders of my family than what you idiots up in Washington are doing. Where's my bailout package? Do you know how many jobs I could create with that money for my business? Do you know how many uh, photographic and video equipment I could buy? I could buy a whole communications trailer for that. And not, that's not even including the interest. And I don't care about stocks and all that other stuff. I just care about, you know, uh, uh, common sense. I realize it's a crazy idea and that this I know you guys, you love the money. Oh, money, we love you, money. We don't, we just, you're our favorite. Mm -hmm. Where are your priorities? Senators, congressmen, Mr. President, Secretary Paulson? Hey, Ben Bernanke, you backstabbing scumbag. Where are your priorities?